99.99% of you are going to leave a comment below saying, Justin, just carry a hatchet. However, statistically, most hikers and backpackers never take a hatchet with them. However, some of them do carry a saw. And so today I'm going to show you how to split a piece of wood using a saw. So stay with me. Now there's a lot of saw companies on the market. However, I've been using this one for over 20 years and this is the Baco Laplander. It's nice and compact. This will fit in a haversack or a backpack or even your back pocket, no problem. There's also a place for a lanyard so that you can secure this to your pack. Now we're gonna to need to cut a wedge and I've just cut off a little piece of limb here that I'm gonna to use to make one. I need to saw this off at an angle. And so to do that, I'm just gonna lay this here, take my saw and begin to cut at an angle. Now, a great thing about using a saw is you're also going to get that fine sawdust, which is going to help you create a fire. So I try to rake all this stuff up and put it in some type of a container to use for later. Now, we want to conserve calories as much as possible. So by making just one cut, we've essentially created two wedges. Each piece of wood that I've sawed on one end or the other, you're going to start to see cracks that have formed in the wood. And so we want to use that to our advantage. And the first thing I'm going to do is start by finding, looks like the widest one, it's going to be about right there. And I'm going to use my saw now to just go along that crack and create a score mark here on the top. Once I've cut in about a quarter of an inch, I'm going to go ahead and stop there. And from here, I'm going to start with the larger wedge. Begin to use a mallet or you can use another block of wood, whatever you have on hand, and begin to strike the top. All right, so I'm going to alternate now in between these pieces of wood. As you can see, I'm starting to get a crack now. It's forming down the side. We'll work over on the other side now for a minute. There it is. Now, this is another great reminder that you don't need a ton of tools when you go out into the forest. As something as simple as a saw can get the job done. Now, I'm Justin Johnson. Thanks so much for watching. Hit that like and subscribe button, and I'll see you next time.